Well, it's good evening, everybody. Uh, we're at uh, in Devon again, uh, another one of my favourite spots. Uh, not far off North Moulton, but a little place called Mornacott. Uh, we're doing a film uh, tomorrow of the shoot itself. I just thought that people would like to see the accommodation here. There's room for uh, all the team here to stay here while the, uh, the shooting in the morning. We've just had a fantastic meal across the road on the, within the, uh, the farm complex itself, but uh, it's a shared uh, complex where everybody can gather and have a drink later on. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely made for uh, shooting parties. Uh, if you ever get the chance to come down here, the place is called Monarchot. And uh, tomorrow, obviously, we'll, we'll see what the shooting's like as well. Uh, well, we'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Monaco shoot in the heart of Devon. Not far off of the top class shoots, such as North Moulton, Castle Hill, the Buttery, and other famous Devon shoots. Too numerous to mention. I found this shoot to be a very enjoyable day with good company, great food, and some top class sport for all abilities. I'm still with Charles Owen, who looks after this shoot. And uh, if you can tell me a little bit of history about it, Charles, is it how long have you, you been going now? Okay, so the shoot we set up 14 years ago. Uh, started off doing about 10 days of first season. Really keen that everybody stayed on site in the lodges, which we've built. Um, have a nice evening the night before in the shoot room. From there we've grown, bought a bit more land, rents a bit more land. We now do uh, about 45 days. And, uh, yeah. Sort of are, are, you, are you going to increase the days? No, no, no you're, you're to sticking 45. to four. So it's, it's like I say, it's, it's semi private and you're very lucky to come and shoot these uh, these little shoots. We were a little bit doubtful this morning because it looked a very it looked very misty but yeah, you were very optimistic yeah, and be. lo and behold it's it's cleared up now it looks like a, a decent flying day so and um, we're looking forward to some seeing some decent birds anyway. Fingers but, crossed. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do the lake first drive. First drive at uh, Monacott uh, Estate. Beautiful little estate in in Devon, and uh, we're just uh, just blanking in the the first drive. Uh, there's a nice little cover crop, uh, three or four hundred yards uh, away from me, uh, which I'm tipping where they uh, they're going to drive these birds from. But typically they'll they'll blank them in both sides. And uh, hopefully, we're at the end of the line, number eight. Uh, hopefully, we should get some decent birds here. I mean, it's looking very promising. The flying conditions are perfect.
Yeah, well, well done. Hey. We've got some nice birds there. Yeah, yeah that was an interesting drive, that bit, bit of uh, duck and, uh, and pheasant. I've got, I've got steel in one, one pocket and, and, pheasant in. and uh, lead in the other pocket, so, but uh, I mean, I didn't actually fire it to duck anyway, so I just concentrated on the pheasant. But what a nice little start of a drive. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed Good that. Drive. Yeah, what a picturesque little start, though. Lovely. For you. All right, Did yeah. You over? Uh, not that many. I got a few back of you. Did you get a hit one? Yeah, well. Yeah, you did, yeah. Well, you didn't kill it, but you shot yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <Hit one. laughs> that was one of mine, wasn't it? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shot one of those. We're on the second drive now, and at Mornicott, a pretty little area, all wooded. We've gone from a open fields now with, with the rising bankings to, to some nice uh, woodland uh, settings. Testing the, the new quad seals again. Um, number four is these. I've put fours and threes, fours in that pocket, and threes in this one. And these are a 38 gram. And on the first drive, I did kill some nice birds with them, and they, you know, they snuffed them out straight away. So, so far, so good. And it, eh, look at this top grub here, it's beautiful that. What's this to you, Samwell. Mm. Third drive in this beautiful Devonshire shoot called Mornicott, and uh, we're on a purely partridge uh, drive now. Uh, it looks a very nice uh, bit of a terrain here for showing partridge, so fingers crossed we should see some good stuff here.
I'd just like to say to all our viewers, uh, I've been shooting alongside Captain Manor in here of the British Army. <laughs> And he's, uh, he's put a sterling show on. You've shot some lovely birds. Well, you're very kind to say. Yeah, he's pushed me all this army training, sir. I think he probably was. Yes. Um, it's slightly different calibre, but yes. Yes, yes. 308, 303. 303, yeah. Then 762 or 308. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. that. 12 bar today, though. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. yeah. No. And how's Pike keeping? Good man. <laughs> Good man. Tell him your name, Pike. Pike. Don't, tell him. Don't tell him your Don't name, tell Pike. Him name, Pike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. We are now on one of Monocot's signature drives, a typical Devonshire hanging wood with opposing wooded banks that are great for showing high birds in a short window. These tend to catch everyone off guard until they realise after the drive's nearly over what the birds are really doing. Even on a stillish day they soon clear the gaps untouched on many pegs. Fantastic birds. I, I did have bloody, oh that one there yeah, further up there, but I missed one there. I never shot it in, never saw it till the last bloody minute. Another party did, but the one must have been 75 yard high went across for the next gun there. He never even looked at it, did he? Yeah, bloody hell. I like to have been underneath him. Yeah. Good birds though, Charles. Fantastic. That was exciting, boys. Well, they were too good to me. No, it's been a wonderful day. Hasn't it been a oh, really, been really wonderful day? Please. It's very good.
what a fantastic day. You know, bloody, uh, yeah, plenty of nice birds there for everybody. Yeah. And, and listen, plenty to miss. <laughs> yeah, I've missed plenty today as well, some bloody good birds. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the best description we can have. It's a, a beautiful shoot to come and have a day out. And I've really enjoyed it. You know, the, the, the hospitality is fantastic. The accommodation is sectioned on. And uh, it's, Andrew certainly does his job here, doesn't he? It's what nice a, to have. a lovely him. estate. Yeah. We've had everything today mm. from four to one drive to 16 to one 16 drive. 16 to one drive, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were tough old cookies on the last yeah, drive. Right. Actually, had a video with a thumbs up all around. Well, thanks for coming down, anyway. No, hey, not a problem, mate. And hey, thanks for inviting yeah. us. I've, I've thoroughly I've, I've well, enjoyed it. It's spiffing, absolutely spiffing. Andrew, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting us. Thoroughly enjoyed it, mate. Fantastic. Yeah, I've honest, yeah. What a nice, we, we, we were lucky to escape the weather. Yeah. So we were, we've all had a fantastic day and what a bloody good crew to come and shoot with. Yeah, yeah nice yeah. team of people. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's great to come with a lot of coffin dodges because you've got a bit more shooting, <laughs> isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, Simon. Yes, sir. So, what did you think about it today then? Oh, yeah. it's a wonderful day. I think it's been Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And we're catered for all abilities. It does. So, yeah. Thanks for these lads. Well, you're yeah, Jack. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. Pleasure yeah. to meet you, Jack. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Well, well done, done, boys. You've I done a it. fantastic wonderful. job. We've yeah, had a proper day. Wonderful. Proper day. So, how long have you been working here, then, lads? Uh, this is my fourth season. Is it? Yeah, this is my second season. Is it good, lad? Yeah. And uh, do you do you enjoy the gamekeeping world, or Love it. is it something that you've been grown into? Have you are you no. born off a of gamekeeping family? I've done shooting in my background. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Out and well, listen, stick with it. It's not all doom and gloom in the shooting world. Listen, listen, stick with it. It's got a lot of years to go yet. Don't worry about that. I mean, I come across a lot of gamekeepers all over the country, especially up Scotland, because they're getting hammered now. You know, and they thought, what we're going to do, Dave. I've got young kids, they don't know whether to, I don't know whether to fetch them into the, into the shooting world, the gamekeeping world, or or give them, you know, make them do another job sort of thing. Yeah. These lads contribute, contribute enormously to the economy, yeah. not only the economy, but also to the countryside. And I'll tell you what, as well about keepers, what people don't realise, you know, when you get rid of keepers, right, because these are unpaid policemen as well. Because if there's anybody mooching about at night, these lads are the there first you. to notice it, and they'll either deal with it themselves, all unpaid as well, you know, all unpaid security guards, really, of farmsteads and, and, and homes in the countryside. They are the unpaid policemen of the countryside. Yep. And if we lose them, then you'll see crime rise. It'll, it'll, it'll go skywards. It's always, it's always People don't realise that. So yeah. keep, keep up the good work, lads. And hopefully we'll come back next year and pay another visit and, and do another film. Do yeah. Hopefully we'll get some really strong wins. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh, well done, Jack. Good lad. Thank you. Lovely. And thank you, Simon. Uh, thank you, David. It's been a pleasure lovely, shooting with you. Lovely to see you. <laughs> lovely to see you. And you, Johnny, of course, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Lovely to see you both. So that's from Captain Manorin. I must go. And Pike. <laughs> over and out. <laughs> <laughs>